update. Um, this is about my EDC everyday carry. Um, just stuff that I carry with me every single day. Um, anytime I'm leaving my house. Um, yeah, so last time I did something like this was about three months ago. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's go over it. Um, Alrighty. Sorry about the um, sound and stuff. Um, my camera that I had, um, I left in my car. So I'm filming this all on my phone right now. Um, normally in my front right pocket, I will carry my iPhone or my phone. Like I said, I have an iPhone. Um, I have an iPhone 11. Um, yeah, so there, um, aside from that, uh, I don't think there's going to be too many uh, changes or whatever. Uh, to what to carry But anyway in my front left pocket. There's um, it's probably where I keep the bulk of my stuff um, I'm a huge uh, Apple um, And tech guy in general. I carry the Apple or AirPod Pros um, So Those I don't know what to look like um, So this pair is my second pair that I had I own or that I ever owned in the last two or three years um my first pair yeah i had for about two years got this pair because i had lost that pair but unfortunately i ran this through the wash twice this past week so um uh lucky enough i have the insurance on it so i just had to go to um the apple store this week to see if they can help me uh get them replaced or whatever or if i get it by a new pair so i um so I got this wallet uh, beginning of 2021. I think if it was January or February, I switched. Um, this one I can, this wallet can hold uh, about seven cards. Um, it is the Trivax Ascent wallet. So a little slot back here for some cash. Um, I have four cards right here. Um, you just access this by pulling this tab. And then I got two more. Um, right here in the front um prior to this wallet i um i forget the name of this wallet but uh, i was carrying this for a while um a couple of slots there for cards another pocket you can stuff cash in there if you want and then it goes back uh prior to that wallet i was carrying a wallet by the a company called the ridge this one can hold uh 12 to 15 Cards plus some uh, cash right here. Um, yeah, uh, the reason why I kind of went to these kind of wallets is because uh, I have Chronicle back pain, and I was carrying a thick wallet before. Just a bunch of crap in there that I wasn't using or whatever, so I kind of decided to downshift. And so, yeah, I used to carry my wallet in my back right pocket, but now that I carry these, I carry my front left pocket. Um, yeah, and then. So that's it for my wallet, for a uh, knife. Um, they kind of rotate between a couple different knives, whatever. Um, this is what I carry. So um, it's my attack course. I forget the exact um, model. Um, I also like how it's got a window and glass breaker right there. Um, if you guys want, uh, I can go more into detail about this knife. Um, the knife that I was carrying for a while, um, it's for about a year up until about March, was this knife right here. Um, glass breaker right there. Uh, one of my favorite uh, knives, it's by Kirsch, uh, I uh, forget the model. Nice full grip. So, whatever. Um, so the only downside, uh, the, the reason why I decided to stop carrying this is, this is kind of loose or whatever. Um, so I'm going around to tighten it up or whatever. Um, it's just a really quick fix or whatever, but for some reason I kind of like uh, a bigger knife that I can get a more full grip on. 
Plus, I like having um, primer blade serrated versus having this glitch like, straight edge. So that was kind of the switch. Um, but out of the few knives I have, I end up switching through constantly. Um, I would say about every six to eight weeks, I'm swapping out knives um, and carrying them. All right, so that's pretty much it for what I have in po my pockets. Um, I don't always carry a light source, um, like a flashlight, um, which I'll explain in a second. Um, but here's my first light, and then my other one. Um, this one is by Pro Inspector. I got it at Cabela's. Uh, the little clip or whatever broke off. So, but not, uh, when I was carrying this, I was carrying this in my back right pocket. This one's just a little too bulky uh, to carry in my pocket. Um, this I'll carry like in my um, day bag that I carry, which I'll get to in a few minutes. But most of the time I'll just use the uh, light that I have on my flashlight. Um, from time to time, I'll carry this on my persons. It's just a multi tool. Leatherman by Ozark Trails. Got this at my Cabela's as well. Um, just a, a typical Leatherman. Uh, if I do carry this um, with me, um, I carry it on my left side behind my spare magazine. Uh, my spare magazine. I carry in this holster, I believe. Um, uh, what is it? It's a Black Hawk holster. Um, I alternate between this and um, a dual and single mag um, holster that I have on my gun belt. I buy alien gear. Most of the time, I'll use this instead of a dual mag on me. Uh, reason being is it's a lot easier. I'd rather have one mag holster that I have dedicated from a my war belt or pistol belt, which I'll do another video on. Uh, but most of the time, I will keep this uh, with me. Uh, but then, let's say I'm driving or whatever, um, I have another uh, single mag that I keep in my car or whatever. I uh, use my center console. Um, for those that don't know, I carry a Glock 19 as my carry gun. So, I carry a uh, Federal HSTs, I believe. Or, oh, yeah, let me finish this. So, it is clear. Nothing in there. Right, so, one second. So, this I will carry on my left side. I'm a right handed person. So, usually when I'm in the car, take this off, put it in my center console. Um, so, I'm using uh, Fredo Premium uh, HSTs. This is what I'm carrying. Yeah, so I'm carrying a Federal HST. Um, they're 147 grain. For a while, um, I was carrying, um, I'm not sure if I've ever heard of this brand, but Amaro Incorporated. Uh, they're, um, it's 115 grain uh, check of hollow point. Um, yeah, so that's normally typically what I carry on me. Um, going back to my uh, handgun. Uh, this is my Glock 19 Gen 3. Uh, I've done, uh, so I kind of decided to do some upgrades on this. Um, just, there's nothing there. Um, I'm not sure if this will kind of pick it up or whatever. But I got blacked out rear sights um, with a fiber optic front sight. And I've gotten, since this upgrade, uh, I've gotten maybe close to 500 rounds through it. Um, these are by a uh, company called Ameriglow. Um, I, re I really like them a lot. Um, um, shooting this, uh, I was unable to pick up the sights pretty damn quick. So, um, I'm going to put a few more hundred uh, rounds through it and kind of give more in-depth detail about it. But there's a couple more upgrades I want to do on this. Um, yes, it is clear. I know I have my finger on the trigger for a second. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some more uh, shooting with this and kind of give a more uh, update on it. Probably do um, a thousand round review. Um, kind of going forward from here. 
just kind of overall. And then, uh, of course, uh, during that thousand round period, I'm also going to be able to have more data, if you will, uh, kind of on these sites and kind of my thoughts. Um, kind of next thing I carry on me is uh, this bag. Uh, just a bag I picked up at a local shop or whatever. Um, not a whole lot in here. Um, most of the time, I, I'll carry like a portable charger um, with uh, a couple different cords. Uh, even though I'm an Apple guy, I hang out with some friends and family, so I'll carry uh, a variety of cords in here j just in case they don't have one. Um, I carry a notebook in here. I'll just get uh, notes. Um, and then a book that I'm reading right now, uh, a book by a friend of mine called Obedience versus uh, Obedience for Sacrifice by Dustin Christensen. Um, I'll take this down in the description in case you guys want to check it out. And then, of course, there's some pens in there. Um, going back to my flashlights, um, normally um, this is big that I throw my flashlights in there in case, uh, if I do carry a flashlight. So usually, um, pretty much with this bag, um, I'll throw a couple snacks in there, um, whatever, kind of like a granola bar or something like that. So, but yeah, usually whatever I don't keep on my persons, I'll toss in that bag, whatever. So that bag is always constantly changing um, with what I carry in there. But nine out of ten times, I'll have at least some sort of book to read, as well as a notebook and pens and a um, portable charger in there. Um, then kind of a new thing, uh, it is getting warmer out. Um, normally I was carrying like a blender bottle um, as a way to drink water. Um, I picked up this Hydro Flask uh, not too long ago. I have a kind of cool stick on there, uh, a Go Rook uh, Tribe sticker. Um, and I'll leave a link uh, to Go Rook. Um, so if you guys want to know more about that company, please go ahead and check it out. <clears throat> Most of the stuff that I've been talking about, um, I'll provide links for in the description. Uh, yeah, this is kind of my spring and summer update. Um, like I said, not too much has changed, whatever. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see some more updates, um, please let me know.